uh, there's a new study that's been released by a uh, leading condom brand, Trojan. Mm. They're saying that one in eight men aged 35 and under have actually taken some protection with them to a funeral just in case. Where is the unlikely place that you've actually picked up? I met someone at a wake. Okay, well, do tell. Many stupid years ago. Hang on. So did this person approach you at the funeral or mm. the wake? Sorry, the wake. We dated for two years after that. Like, that was the start of the really bad run. He was the worst of the lot of them. I should have right. known someone who's going to pick me up at a funeral uh-huh. was not going to be a great human. Yeah. And he really was. Well, I mean, it does take a certain kind of someone to head off to a funeral or wake with the confidence of having a condom in their pocket. Because I've been to a few. How do you take what is a very down and morbid mood and somehow turn that into picking up someone? I think it's once everyone gets on the drink and it was like towards the end of of the night. Yep. And everyone's just chatting and, you know, you're reliving memories about everything. And I guess you're thinking, life's short. That. You know what I mean? You're having that realisation that your end is coming. You know, there's no denying that. It's going to happen. So, you know, why not take up these opportunities when they present themselves? And if they just happen <laughs> to present themselves at a, at a funeral or a wake, why not? To shoot your shot. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, answer the question then. So have you picked up at a funeral, mate? Are you, in, are you partaking in all this action? Uh, once. Once. <laughs> yeah. Not, not meant to happen. Right. Right. Okay. Fair enough. But but everybody gets into everybody, and people that say that's wrong, they're liars. I don't know if you're going to funerals or orgies, Jordan. I'm confused. (laughs) They're the same thing, according to you. No, no, no. no. I do plenty of funerals. Molly. All right. Well, thanks for your call, mate. No problem. Have a lovely afternoon. Thanks for listening to the show. 